show you how to add custom uh, keys and uh, entries like you custom units or custom uh, area of recruitment keys or even completely brand new fi uh, factions. Any, any custom key that you create, uh, I'm going to show you how to add it to a start pos uh, in Warhammer, uh, in Attila and in Rome 2. Now the method for Rome 2 and Warhammer is exactly the same uh, and for Attila it's a little bit different but all in all it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to start off with just doing the uh, Attila, uh, the, sorry the Warhammer one and you can just know that it's exactly the same when you do it for Rome 2. So I just tested to make sure it is the same as well uh, just before I made this tutorial. So I've just actually created a new unit just to test it. You can do the same, so you can see here, test unit. Uh, and then I added it to uh, an army in the start pause land units. All the way down here, you can see here, test unit's been added to uh, the main campaign to Azag. Okay, so we don't, that's actually, we don't, now that I've, I've actually exported all the tables, uh, so the main unit will, has to be exported to the working data so that you can make a pack and in, that pack will include the main units in it. Okay, so I've done that already. I've already exported it. So I'll go to the... Here, I'll go to the Warhammer kit and I will run Bob and I'll only build the, uh, the data pack. So I'll just click on data and I'll just build that mod pack there start and it's done really quickly uh, then what I'll do is I'll jump into the retail I'll grab that we built the mod pack not the test pack but actually I'll rename it so it doesn't override any other uh, packs that I have in my Warhammer uh, data file folder and so I'll call it uh, tutorial okay then I'll copy that and we'll put it directly into the data folder there it is now what we do is we start up Warhammer. Well, not Warhammer, we start up the launcher, go to the mod manager, just click that twice to make sure that all the mods are disabled that you have. And then we'll go to our mod pack here, uh, and tick it, and then close. Then we'll go back to the assembly kit binaries, and now we can run uh, Go to the campaign, pick the campaign you want to create, uh, and put it directly into a pack as well. Okay, so now we can create this pack and the start pause will run without a problem. But when you run a start pause, uh, always have your task manager up because if there is a crash, sometimes it can freeze and it can be really difficult to get out of it. Uh, so that it can still have a crash if you haven't set it up properly in the start pause. Uh, I, I have set that up properly, that's a very basic entry, but if you're doing something a bit more complicated, which requires multiple entries uh, in the start pause, you can still crash on this part here uh, if you haven't done everything right. So just wait a little bit, doesn't take long, and now it's done. If it takes much longer than that, then something is wrong and you should uh, force quit uh, and try go back into the assembly kit and try to figure out what you need to do to fix it up. So now if we exit and we can actually check in our Retail, it's gone back to mod again. You can see it's the last thing that was actually created. And we can see, if it's all has been done correctly, that there will be a campaign folder in here. And there is, there's the campaign folder with main Warhammer. So it works, and it does. Exa it's exactly the same when we, we're doing uh, this custom entries into Rome 2. So you essentially you, you make your mod pack with the database files, then we put it into the data folder, enable it using the mod uh, manager in the launcher, and then you go into Bob and build the start pause. The start pause for Attila with custom entries is a little bit different. So I've created a test unit here as well and put into the start pause land units and assigned it to the main Attila, uh, one of the factions in main Attila campaign. Uh, and then we'll go to the binaries and just like with the others, 
uh, we build a pack without the start pulse to start off with. So just click on data and start and we're done pretty quick. And we grab that pack and we put it into in retail, grab the pack and we put it into the data folder. And then we open up mod manager and enable it, which I've already done. And then we go back into Bob. And just like with the other ones, we're going to select the campaign, main Attila, and create the, uh, the mod pack. Uh, and then start. Now it'll start for a little bit and it'll stop and what you have to do here is you click on your Steam and you'll get a little pop-up. Uh, when this comes up click cancel and then launch Attila yourself. And it won't, it won't give you, we enable the mod before we do this because when you push cancel and launch it again uh, the mod manager doesn't come up. Uh, now, if you hear noise when you start it up, it means that it's working. If you don't hear any noise, uh, then something has gone wrong and it's going to crash and you can probably just edit it. Uh, force exit. And now we hear noise, uh, it means that it's going to build the start pause. The Warhammer and Rome 2 start pause uh, creation, once you've the game's launched, uh, is much quicker than Attila. So you can have a bit more patience with the Attila version. Uh, just if you hear the noise and just say, okay, it's going to happen eventually and just wait uh, a little while. And I'll just uh, keep recording it just so you see that it actually does happen eventually and to give you an idea of how long you should wait. Uh, when building a, an Attila start pause. Of course, it probably depends on how much you've actually edited, and I've only added in one unit here, so it's possibly relatively quick. And now it's done. And that, we can just go into the uh, retail version here. Now, looking here, you won't actually notice anything because it actually puts in all the campaigns, even the vanilla ones. And they've all got start pauses in there. But to just double check that the campaign that we wanted has actually been done properly, we can go into working data, campaigns, and you see that there's only one folder there. So these other ones are just vanilla campaigns. And in there, you'll find the custom, the start pause with your custom value that, you've actually, that we've actually built just now. Uh, and that is how to get custom values, custom keys, uh, into a start pause in all three of the latest Total War titles. Uh, so that's something big thank you to Dresden actually for showing me how to do that. Uh, and I hope it's been helpful or will be helpful to all you modders out there uh, with creating even better uh, mods with more with better start pauses. All right, thanks for watching and happy modding.